Hi. I know it's late, but I've got to talk to you now. John, what are you trying to do to Andy? What are you talking about? Are you trying to divide his loyalties? Put him in the middle of something that he was never a part of? What makes you think I'd be trying to do something like that? Because he does. He seems to feel that he has to make some kind of a choice between us because of things that you've said about not feeling welcome in our home or that you're uncomfortable around Sabrina. Oh. oh. Well, that's the truth. I do feel that way. I've been honest with him about it. Well, you're not obligated to tell every waking thought to him. I mean, can't you keep those thoughts to yourself? If you're uncomfortable or you feel guilty or, or paranoid or whatever, God, can't you take that to a psychiatrist or somebody who's equipped to handle it better than a teenage son? Paranoid? Why would it be paranoid of me to feel unwelcome in your home? I think I'd be disillusioning myself if I felt any differently. You know, I think if anybody needs a psychiatrist here, it might be you. All these guilt feelings you have, you haven't been dealing with them? John, you're not going to warm out of this by turning the tables on me. Well, I'm not doing that, but I think you are. You're saying that I'm confusing our son? Well, I think that's your infidelity with your sister's husband that's turned your Andrew's world upside down. What happened to his perfect mother? I'm not trying to make Andy think that I'm perfect. No, but you want him to feel that you're responsible, you're loyal, you're responsible to the, to the family, to the kids, to the pets. I mean, how are you helping him to deal with his mother? I have openly admitted that I made a mistake. I have been there to try to help him deal with that at every turn. I have encouraged him not to let any feelings that I might have about whatever you've done in this whole thing color his feelings for you. It seems to me that you have done exactly the opposite. It seems to me that you want him to make a choice, and I don't understand. I know that you don't want to hurt him. I'm glad that you know that. Well, of course I know that. I know you love him, so what in the hell are you trying to do? Are you trying to use him to hurt Bob and me? Why would I want to hurt Bob I and me? I don't know. Is it because you know that we don't completely b believe your story? God, John, you have done so many things over these years. You said it yourself. You knew you were afraid we wouldn't believe you. We can't let that alienate and confuse our son. Not now. Not when he needs us both more than ever. <laughs>